on my Bharat Jodo Yatra, the second one, throughout the route, students were telling me that paper leaks are endemic in India. They study, they work hard, honest students suffer and students who want to cheat benefit. And this was repeated again and again and again and again. Now we are seeing an expansion of the idea of Vyapam across the country. BJP states have had to deal with this. Uttar Pradesh has, has had to deal with this. Madhya Pradesh has been a center of this. Gujarat has been a center of this. And now they have expanded this idea to the rest of the country. This is extremely damaging to students. And it's happening because all our institutions have been captured. Our vice chancellors are placed not based on merit but because they belong to a particular organization and this organization and the BJP have penetrated our education system and destroyed it. What was done by Mr. Narendra Modi to the economy with demonetization has now been done to the education system. Youngsters, I want you to know that the reason this is happening and the reason you're suffering is because an independent objective education system has been demolished and it has been replaced by an education system that is captured by the BJP, captured by their parent organization. And until this capture is released, you are going to suffer, you are going to see cancellations of your exams, you are going to see paper leaks again and again and again. One paper has been cancelled, we don't know what is going to happen to NEET, but whatever happens, it should not be done in a arbitrary fashion. The rules that apply to one paper should apply to another paper. And it is very important that the people who are guilty here are brought to book and they are punished. Thank you. Sir, Sir, the Sansad ka Sadr is तो क्या आप निजी तौर पर लोकसभा में इस विषय को उठाएंगे और आप यह मांग करेंगे कि प्रधानमंत्री मोदी खुद सदन में आकर जवाब दें इस विषय पर क्योंकि यह छात्रों के भविष्य से जुड़ा विषय है हां बिल्कुल सिंपल सिंपल क्वेश्चन हां उठाएंगे पार्लियामेंट हाउस में उठाएंगे uh, Rahul, do you think so? This is a uh, this is a education emergency, and till now, what is the uh, stand? Government ne jitna bhi stand liya. Do you satisfied with that that stand? Or sir, mera dusra sawal bhi hai. Jis tarikhe se aap aaj students se mil rahe hain. Let me let me answer the question. See, there is a there is a huge pressure on our students, and the pressure comes from a number of directions. The first direction is the large scale un unemployment that is there in the country. Everybody understands it, everybody knows it and one of the reasons uh, the government suffered in this election was that all youngsters believe that Mr. Modi is incapable of solving the employment problem. So that's the first thing. Second thing is there's huge pressure because of this and there are very few avenues for students. Uh, in all areas, right? So, you've cut off the job avenue. Now you are cutting off the exam avenue. You are saying, you know, you can take an exam, you can study, you can work as hard as you want. On the last date, we are going to tell you that the exam is cancelled. So, you know, uh, that avenue is also shut. You've shut avenues like Agnivir. You've shut avenues like the public sector. So, the youth of India have nowhere to go. It doesn't matter whether you are an IIT graduate, IIT student or you are trying to join the army. The youngsters in India simply have no way through. And it's not just an educational crisis. It's a crisis in pretty much every sphere that we are facing. Now, before the elections, it was very clear that there was massive control of the media, massive uh, control of the other institutions, so people were quiet. Now people are very clear that we are sitting on a disaster and we've got a government that is crippled, cannot do the job. It's literally walking around on one leg, right? So, yes, it's a crisis. It's a profound national crisis. It's an economic crisis. It's an educational crisis. It's an institutional crisis. So, uh, but I don't see any response. I don't even see the capability of a response. 
राइट सो हाँ नहीं नहीं वन सेकेंड बिहार का भैया हमने कहा है कि इंक्वायरी होनी चाहिए और जो भी जिन्होंने भी पेपर पेपर लीक कराया है उनके खिलाफ कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए सर नीट स्पेसिफिकली ऑन नीट एग्जामिनेशन देर इज ऑफकोर्स इन्वेस्टिगेशन दैट इज गोइंग ऑन बट दी शेड्यूल काउंसलिंग सेशन इज नॉट बीन डिलेड इट इज गोइंग टू हैपन एज पर शेड्यूल सो डू थिंक दैट दिस इज अ म्योर आई वॉश वेन इट कम्स टू द इन्वेस्टिगेशन सेइंग दैट इन्वेस्टिगेशन भी हो रही है बट देन दे आर नॉट डिलेइंग दी लुक यू कैन दे कैन आई वॉश वट एवर दे वॉन्ट बट दे आर गोइंग टू गेट सच प्रेशर फ्रॉम द ऑपोजिशन दैट दे गोइंग टू थिंक ट्वाइस अबाउट वट एवर दे डूइंग बिकॉज वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू अलाउ this type of activity to be done as far as our students are concerned our students sit there they work they spend months they might they dream about these exams for years they spend huge amount of money so the opposition is simply not going to allow any of this i wash that is taking place we will make sure that we put so much pressure on them that this issue is resolved okay, no confidence motion uh, parliament mein aap log lane ki koshish kare silence is because sorry silence is because prime minister is crippled right now prime minister's main agenda is the speaker so he is not bothered about neat he is not bothered about all these things he is bothered about ki bhaiya meri sarkar nikal jaye yahan se aur mera speaker ban jaye right that is where he is right now that's where his mind is right so essentially the main thing is that we have a government now right and a prime minister now who will find it very difficult to function the prime minister if i might say so is psychologically broken he has collapsed psychologically collapsed and he will struggle knowing his personality he will struggle to run a government like this because his entire sense of running a government the idea of running a government mr modi's idea is to generate fear in people to frighten people to make people not speak you are aware of that now what has happened is people are not scared of him and you saw the other day i think somebody in in varanasi itself threw a chappal on his car right so it's very clear the the basic concept of modi has been destroyed in this uh, um election if if we were faced with a if if right now you had a vajpayee ji or a manmohan singh ji they might be able to survive what they are faced with because there is humility there is conciliation there is respect but narendra modi does not believe in any of these things narendra modi believes my way or the highway and now suddenly is found that earlier there were congress people who were not scared of him now nobody in the country is scared of him right so psychologically it's a almost a fatal blow for the prime minister and he is going to really struggle and of course now we have a stronger opposition so it's going to be interesting and quite a lot of fun Silence. no confidence motion காங்கிரஸ் எம்பி ராகுல் காந்தி செய்தியாளர்களை சந்தித்து பல்வேறு விஷயங்களை பேசியிருக்கிறார் குறிப்பாக பிரதமர் மோடி உருக்குலைந்து போய்விட்டார் என்பதை ராகுல் காந்தி பேசியிருக்கிறார் குறிப்பாக உளவியல் ரீதியில் பிரதமர் மோடி உருக்குலைந்திருப்பதாக தெரிவித்திருக்கிறார் வாரணாசியில் பிரதமர் மோடி கார் மீது செருப்பு வீசப்பட்டிருப்பதாகவும் ராகுல் காந்தி தெரிவித்திருக்கிறார் மாணவர்கள் மிக மோசமான நிலைக்கு தள்ளப்பட்டிருப்பதாகவும் அவர் தெரிவித்திருக்கிறார் உடனுக்குடன் செய்திகளை தெரிந்து கொள்ள சென் நியூஸ் பில்லை கிளிக் பண்ணுங்க